This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, um, good morning, good evening. This is Satish uh, from Asia. A uh, very quick introduction about me. Um, I've been with uh, IT for the last uh, 15 plus years and uh, predominantly in performance testing, performance engineering, and then as well on the uh, development, product development as well. Okay. And I'm uh, uh, into this training for the last uh, uh, three, three plus years. I've been taking uh, training on performance engineering uh, and then some of the uh, client side performance, your DevOps. Uh, and, and uh, Linux courses. So I've been taking these uh, various courses for the last uh, two to three years. Okay. So uh, this this course uh, that is planned from uh, today uh, uh, is on performance engineering. Okay. Um, most of you who have joined this call, I believe you are from performance testing background. You might be doing might be testing a little bit of engineering. Uh, is what I uh, my assumption is right. Um, so uh, today, what we'll do is um, I'm just going to walk you through the topics that we are going to cover uh, in this course. Okay, uh, probably I'll spend some ten minutes on that, and then probably uh, I'll take a random topic and then go over that so that you will understand how. How is going to be the teaching or what is it something you're going to understand uh, out of the training right so for you to get a feel of it uh, since it's a demo session want to go over one of the topic and 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 uh, uh, take that through okay and as well um, i'll also show you how we are going to conduct this training uh, in terms of practically uh, uh, how, how the sessions are going to be planned and that is the agenda of, of today Okay, so let me go to the topics. I'll spend five, 10 minutes on the topics which we are going to cover in the next few weeks. Okay. Um, so basically the sessions are uh, very much tailored. See, uh, performance engineering is a very vast topic. Okay, uh, um, it, 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 does, it does no boundary. Okay, um, as you gain experience, as you get exposed to a lot of things, there is no boundary in terms of applying your engineering concepts in terms of improving the performance uh, of your applications uh, tuning profiling providing recommendations there is no boundary at all okay uh, but uh, more from the uh, beginner perspective beginner to intermediate perspective when you are going to make your journey from performance testing to engineering Okay, so there are two things which we are consider while we uh, try to um, structure this course. Uh, two things we have considered: one, from a, a uh, from an interview perspective, when you are going to go for an interview as a performance tester, um, how you can uh, succeed there with these kind of a performance engineering concepts, performance engineering basics. Okay. Once you go through this, once you learn this during the training session, and at least once, if you can do all this in your laptop, we will provide you all the required things for you to um, use it for your hands on. Okay, whatever the code which you are going to use it, whatever the war file we are going to use it, all the tool, wherever we are going to download, all these details we will give to you. So, at least once you practice, even though you don't have experience in real time project for performance engineering. You can pretty much go and tell in the interview that I have I have performance testing experience and I have learned performance engineering out of my interest, out of my passion. I have tried all these tools, all these analysis profiling uh, with my own application in my laptop uh, out of my interest. If you're going to communicate that and then answer those questions that are going to be asked, you will definitely um, be far ahead from the person who knows only testing okay so even without engineering prod we are going to fake right we are going to we are going to so and say i have three years of engineering experience or four years of engineering experience no we want to say i am good in performance testing i have learned engineering uh, i have a certification from asia and i have tried all these tools and i've done analysis my myself being a heap dump or a thread dump or um, uh, leak analysis garbage collection analysis 
uh, i have used uh, app dynamics i have analyzed the aws reports i have set up my own monitoring tools i have done the response time analysis i have done the client side performance if you go to say all these things and you say i have done this on my own uh, i have done the hands on nobody will have a, a problem in taking you because see in engineering unless otherwise you get exposure into a project nobody will go to have an experience right um, so uh, during inter- the, the intention of this course one of the uh, intention is for you to gain that knowledge have this hands on though you are not get uh, got a um, hands on projects this will help you to get an hands on okay second is um uh, from the uh, um uh, engineering perspective right you have to start somewhere okay all these courses are tailored in such a way that it will be it will cover all the uh, basic things across layers okay uh, even if you are in a current project if you want to take up an engineering activity you would be able to do it definitely with a confidence and that's how we have we have structured this course very uh, a tailored made which will cover all the important engineering aspects okay um, so i'll go through couple of these topics right um, so we'll start with uh, java basics and jvm basics very important the reason is um, you you all would have faced this problem right like me uh, uh, at the beginning so we have we are going to go and tell it to the developers that you have a response time problem uh, you have lot of errors they will always come and question us about our scripts and our uh, test data right it is not going to be easy to convince them now you are going to go one step ahead and then tell that your 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 code is having a problem your method is having a problem your object is having a memory uh, leak so you going to go and talk, go and count tell these things developer will again going to come back and question question a lot of things so for you to go and confidently talk to the developers you should know a little bit of java basics little bit of java programming uh, definitely and jvm concepts so uh, in the initial sessions we will cover these uh, java basics and jvm basics to a level where you can go and confidently go and talk to them we are not going to be become a odd code or code programmer here right no we should understand what is class what is method what is uh, uh, the package uh, how the uh, multiple methods are uh, uh, are are constructed how uh, you can call one class from another class file so once you see a real time program once you uh, write few program uh, if you know how to uh, how, how in a real project the these class files are going to be organized that's all we need to go and talk to them confidently it should not be a black box for us right that is what we will try to uh, break that uh, 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 kind of um, uh, hurdle okay so java basics and jvm basics will cover uh, initially and then we'll go into the engineering topics right so uh, you might all face these problems during a testing right you you run a test you will see a response time problem you will see a memory getting increased uh, you will see thread utilization getting increased right so we will go and um, create problems and then we'll go and analyze all these things the way we'll do is um, i'll just go and um, for example i'll just take an example okay um, just give me one second i will go to my drive okay so this google drive access will be given to everybody so this drive will have the all the required artifacts okay for example the uh, response time analysis okay um the response time analysis folder will have the required war file so the application what we are going to use is a, uh, a java application uh, called e library okay so what i will do is i'll go and um it is already running okay uh, tomcat is already running in my machine and i'll open the application okay so this is the uh, application which will use it for our course for response time analysis for the profiling uh, for the leak analysis for the uh, your um, um heap dumps thread dumps for all these things we will be using this um a sample application it's, it's a java based application and we also have the corresponding code for that as well okay so this code will also be given to you um, it will be uploaded to the drive and the corresponding war file as well it will be given to you right um, so this drive will have the required artifacts okay. so you can download this war file 
and you can install that in your tomcat and even the tomcat as well i'll be uploading it in the drive so you can download the tomcat you can uh, upload the war file I'll, I'll tell you how to do all these things um, we have a, a, a video setup video where i would have told about how to install java how to install the tomcat and then how to deploy a war file that setup video i i have it so once you register to the uh, course we will provide you the access to the drive as well as the, to those videos um, uh, so that you can set up these initial thing on your mission okay um, for example right so uh, so this drive is one and and one more thing is on the um, we also maintain a sheet right we'll, we'll maintain a google sheet where um, we will provide you all the required uh, software list okay so let me open that Let me open the one second. I'm just opening that. Yeah, the software sheet will have all the path from where you can download the Java or all the different tools. Okay, so this access will be given to you so that you can go and download whatever that is required for your initial setup, and then this drive uh, where you will be able to um, um, download the all the artifacts. Whatever documents we create, right? For example, for response time analysis, when we do a response time analysis using, uh, say, J Profiler, we will go and create a, a analysis document. Um, for instance, if this is the response time analysis, which I would have created uh, earlier batches, right? We'll go and uh, do this exercise again during our uh, sessions. We will see what are the steps we'll follow, and then how do we go and uh, find out the response time problem? How do we use a uh, Tomcat access blocks? How do we go to J Profiler, identify problem? Everything will be documented, and this will be also uh, uploaded to the uh, drive. Okay, so it is going to be mostly it is going to be practically driven sessions. Okay, um, and that is how we are going to conduct this course. Let me go to the. Um, so what we would require from you is uh, basically. Um, So we are going to build the code. We are going to deploy it. We are going to test it. We are going to identify the performance problem. We are going to profile and then find out the root cause. That is how we are going to do it for most of the sessions wherever applicable. Okay. What we need from you is uh, in order to practice. See, once you are going to listen during a session, that is all good. But as I was saying, for you to confidently go and tell in the interview that I have learned, I have practiced, I have done the hands-on. It is very important for you to do that hands on in your mission and it's very easy as well i'm going to give you all the required uh, things for you to do the setup and uh, most of the tools which we are using it is are going to be open source tool or the tools like app dynamics or j profiler which we will be using it or, or dynatrace whatever tools apm tools or whatever the profiling tools we are going to use it everything is going to have a trial version uh, right so which means you can easily go and practice, practice it for one month two month with those uh, trial licenses. So what we you need is you just need a laptop and Java to be installed. Eclipse if required, not mandatory. You need a Tomcat and a Java application. I'm going to give it. Okay, uh, and then few tools, profiling tools, or uh, which are all open source. Right. So it's going to be easy setup. Not comp and uh, if you're if you're going to have really trusted, passionate about learning uh, engineering, you just need this for you to follow my sessions. And then you can do a hands on. Okay, that is very much recommended so that uh, you will more, uh, more you do it, more you get confidence. Okay, um, so see, uh, response, say for example, response time analysis, right? Um, if you, um, I think I have, uh, I'll do one thing, I'll, I'll just go over to my Tomcat. Okay, and then. Um, Open my web apps. Okay, I'm going to just delete this war file. Okay, and then I will go and download the response time war file from the uh, here. So there might be a war file which will have a problem. Okay, for example, um, 
and there is a war file which i have saying response time one there there is some problem with the uh, response time it might be high due to some reason okay you can download this download this and then i'll deploy into the i'm just wanted to really how we are going to conduct this kind of a uh, diagnostic uh, things right um, so i'll deploy this war file I copy this and then go and paste this and then probably I'll rename this okay and then I'll go and restart it okay I'll go and restart it I'll go and start the server. So this will get now deployed. So after deploying, right? Say uh, what I will do is as an end user, I'll open the e-library application, right? See uh, these uh, inst uh, Tomcat installation, deploying all these things. Uh, those things as well as a performance engineer should know it because uh, when you do a profiling, uh, right? In most of the time nowadays, people are expecting you to. Have your own mission. You will have a mission. You will have your own Tomcat, uh, and then you will go and uh, get the war file from your developer and deploy it. So, small, small administrative things we should be able to start doing it, right? Uh, we should be more hands on, more technical. That is what that is what I expect, and that is what we'll also try to do it in the course. So now it is started. Uh, now we'll go to the. Um, So I'll open the uh, developer tool, control shift I, okay. Uh, and then I'll say login. Okay, see for example, if you see, okay, I, I think I did the wrong one. I'll let me clear it out and then do a login again. Okay. So when you look into it, right now, admin login, it is it um, it is still pending. I haven't got the login page, so it took close to ten seconds, right? Uh, if you see the bottom side, bottom right hand side corner, load time is ten point three seconds. So we all know that SLA for response time is what three seconds or five seconds. In this case, it took ten point three seconds, and out of ten point three seconds, if you see this admin login. Document the first line where the green color thing is there, right? Uh, near my mouse cursor, it is 9.25. And out, out of 9.25, if you see, a majority of time is taken in the time to first byte, 9.23 seconds. Okay, time to first byte is um, you, you, so your uh, browser sent a request and your server to do the authentication uh, validation and then to send the response first byte, it took 9.23 seconds, right? which means. That might be a potential problem with my server, with my code. Okay, so this is this is the uh, testing, right? You from a testing perspective, you say that my response time is high, but why I? That is what we that is uh, that is why that is what we will learn uh, to find the root cause of this 9.23 seconds. Uh, that is the job of the engineer as well. From a testing perspective, we will go and say 9.23. Performance engineer will go and find why this 9.23 seconds. Okay, so those things. We will try to learn in the session. Similarly, say for for uh, to identify the memory problem, right? What I will do is I'll go to the response time analysis and I'll go to the memory uh, folder. There I will have the mem uh, I will have the um, uh, war file for um, memory leaks. I'll download and then I'll use the tool like J Console or J Visual VM to uh, monitor the your memory. And then if the memory is keep on growing, that is what uh, your memory leak, right? Uh, even after um, uh, uh, your, um, uh, if you do multiple logins, multiple transactions, the memory will grow, but it should come down, right? After some uh, garbage collection is ex executed, it will come down. But in some cases, 
it don't come down uh, if it doesn't come down that is what we call it as a leak right say for example here in this graph it keeps on go, uh, going up and up right for uh, or probably this graph if you see it went up it came down which means there is no memory leak if uh, in this graph if you see the memory goes up up it did not come to the original position at all which means there is a problem with your uh, memory so once you know this there is a problem then we'll go and find out why this is keep on increasing which object is having a problem right those kind of analysis is what we'll do it from a memory perspective okay so uh, all these things um, we will okay so from the course perspective that's what we will we'll, we'll start doing all these things from an engineering perspective response time analysis why the response time is high and then uh, why the memory is high we will look into the concept about java heap and stack okay two important components in your jv memory and then we'll go and learn heap dump uh, garbage collection analysis so the, there will be a set of series of memory related topics from a memory leak heap dump gc analysis we'll use various tools j profiler eclipse mat j console visual vm gc logs all these tools will be used from a memory perspective okay and from there we will move to the threads see any system if you take it you it will it will have a cpu it will have a memory and threads are going to be there which is going to and in the task right so um, we need to analyze the cpu we need to analyze the response time we need to look into the memory and then we also need to look into the uh, threads as well right so uh, from a java thread perspective we look into the concepts what is thread contention how to configure the threads uh, thread dump analysis all these things we will look into it okay and then we'll also go and discuss about the jb benchmarking uh, for jb benchmarking you you it, it it's a it's a combination of number of threads uh, your heap configuration your response time expectation number of concurrent user expected in a jvm all is what will drive your jvm uh, benchmark So we'll go and uh, discuss how JB benchmark will be done in a typical project. Okay, and then we'll also go and learn some of the important client side analysis, client side profiling, uh, client side recommendation. What we will give it uh, for any web, web application. Okay, and from there the, we'll go on to the um, uh, database as well. We'll go and understand the Oracle database architecture, how it is structured. We'll try to go and connect to the Oracle DB, uh, enable some of the snapshots, get the AWR report. and we will look into some of the important aspect as a application performance engineer how to look into the aws report okay and uh, then we also go and look into the monitoring aspect right so we have done individual analysis uh, database analysis cpu analysis heap dump thread dump all these things are all good but when you run a load testing right you need a good apm tool so we'll go and learn uh, one of the uh, one of the good apm tool called abdynamics we'll try to connect uh, configure the abdynamics with our java application whatever sample application i was showing right for that application will connect with the uh, in fact uh, if you uh, if you have looked into it closely the this tomcat right whatever i am i am using it it should have said connected to the um, uh, app dynamics at the beginning if you see here started app dynamics java i then successfully so my, my already my application is connected with the app dynamics uh we will try to do the reconfiguration again while we take this uh, individual session but uh, yes this um, the my the library application is already connected to the abdynamics so we will we'll try to learn how to connect the abdynamics with the java application uh, what are the various things we will be looking into the abdynamics in detail we will have a abdynamics session and everywhere the open source is very famous so we'll also try to learn how to use the open source monitoring using telegraph inflex um, uh, and and uh, chronograph or grafana uh we'll go and uh, install these tools configure these tools and then use it for our monitoring okay so all these things are what uh, uh, it is it is something expected in this today's pro, uh, project from my engineering perspective and we'll go and look into it all these things uh, mostly practical and 15 10 percentage will be theoretical from a concept perspective okay and at the last we'll go and uh, learn what are the non functional requirements how non functional requirements are defined uh and then the engineering strategy we all would have known the strategy but how to create a engineering strategy is also we'll learn okay and outside of engineering topic we'll also try to learn few things from a future readiness perspective see wherever you go you even though you are good in engineering 
uh, people will ask about devops uh, questions in devops people who are expected to know something about devops how to run continuous testing in in jenkins how to integrate jenkins and uh, jmeter we will try to go and understand some of the important concepts of devops how practically performance testing is done in devops we'll also go and learn uh, practically how to integrate jmeter and uh, jenkins and similarly cloud is also something very very famous everywhere right uh, everywhere cloud is uh, implemented uh, apps are hosted in cloud so we'll try to understand uh, what is going to be different in cloud performance uh, how engineering is going to be different or not what are the additional scenarios you might need to consider in cloud what is resiliency and auto scaling so some of the very important basic concepts about uh, cloud performance and what are the additional scenarios you will cover those things you will look into the into the one more future readiness topic and then based on the recent feedback we will also include some of the bonus topics so uh, we will will cover these things a uh, little bit not in a very detailed way but definitely to the point where you will be able to reproduce that in your projects one is a cloud watch monitoring aws cloud watch monitoring uh, it will be it is included and then um, most of the applications are going to be hosted in linux right though we are comfortable in windows uh, fortunately or unfortunately the app servers are going to be in linux the load generators are going to be in linux so we have to know some of the very important basics to connect to the linux machine and do things uh, um, easily so we'll also have a session on linux for performance tester and then one more important thing uh, from a uh, site reliability engineering is sre you have heard it the synthetic monitoring is one of the key component of sre so we'll go and use dynatrace to create synthetic scripts how to run this synthetic scripts in in production apps 24 bar 7 how to configure it so synthetic monitoring as well we'll learn practically using dynatrace okay so this entire things are going to be covered uh, in the next 3 to 4 weeks 25 27 28 30 hours uh, it can be anything between 25 to 30 hours depending upon the uh, the kind of interaction we are going to have it kind of questions we are going to have it kind of uh, discussions we are going to have it it might vary okay um so I'll just take a pass here guys if you have any questions on the course content topics right uh, yeah please let me know and sessions are going yes, to be between sir. 9 pm to 10 pm yeah please go ahead. so i'm mean, as you shared the content of ियरिया Uh, that would be one of the prerequisite or if you are coming from a uh, say development background or if you are coming from um, some other testing right uh, that is still okay uh, because this performance engineering is going to get targeted for a beginner so there is no specific prerequisite uh, for this uh, if you have a performance testing knowledge that should be more than enough because we are not going to uh, learn the jmeter or, uh, or or jmeter execution here it's more about engineering right what about topics i have been told telling telling you so um, if you are already know performance testing good enough if you are uh, from uh, automation or from development you are trying to come into the performance area even then all these things are going to be very very informative helpful to you as you try to learn the performance testing So, but uh, uh, okay, I totally agree with the uh, I mean, like you mentioned about. But I can see the threads, the Java threads, and you know, dump uh, analysis. So kind of these things. Uh, I mean, do we have any presentation or kind of a say PDF through which we can you know uh, we can we can you know uh, really revisit this uh, topics and stuff so that we can be aware of so that then we can. Come up with the solution, and then we can enjoy this course. Because I think that that totally. Yeah. See, there are there are uh, documents available. Okay, uh, will be given by Isha, uh, which will cover most of these things. Uh, but the documents are going to be um, very very comprehensive or detailed outright. I don't know how 
easy it is going to be for you to read it and then come to it good to good to do it if you can do some ground work homework on these topics that is good enough uh, the doc there are set of documentation will be given by um, isha uh, but i won't say that is going to be a, a prerequisite you, you can pretty much come because the things which you are going to uh, do it uh, learn it are kind of basics basics to intermediate so i don't think it will be a problem but uh, once you are registered right you will be given with the uh, the uh, performance engineering document which you can definitely go through that before coming into the topics Sure. Thanks, please. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I was mentioning that right. This course course is going to be between Monday to Friday, uh, in the same uh -huh. time, uh, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, Satish, I have a question. Please, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, thanks for the presentation. It was really nice. Uh, my two points are that uh, on what uh, tool you will you be giving the hands-on? Is, is it Jmeter or uh, with load runner? Okay. The See, particular, um, particular uh, this one performance engineering through which tool are you going to give me the hands-on uh, the end project and uh, second thing is that uh, after uh, doing this one will I be having any support for let's say certification or something like that? See, okay. first thing is um, when it comes to engineering, right? There are two aspects. One is the um, early performance or identifying problem uh, before you run the load test okay so before you run a load test you have to do the profiling right uh, being a client side profiling or server side profiling it's all going to be a single user okay you open your application and then uh, 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 and and, and uh, observe your response time if the response time is i why it is i you will use a tool like j profilers your uh, tomcat access mm -hmm. logs your chrome mm -hmm. okay. uh, just a second i'm I'm not actually asking that. I'm asking for this plain thing. I mean, so you are uh, you will be covering the performance engineering topics, right? So, uh, in which tool will you be presenting it to us so that I will uh, be easier for me to capture? Because uh, ultimately, what, I have to use. Yeah, that is what I'm explaining. When it comes to tools, it is not going to be directly tagged to JMeter or Load Runner. The reason is, okay. first thing is. Um, initially, for from an engineering perspective, the profilings are going to be single user profiling. Okay, so you will okay. use a tool like Chrome Developer Tools, J Consoles, Eclipse Mat, all these things are all engineering tools, which you will use it while you manually travel uh, traverse your application in your Chrome browser. That's all single user profiling. Okay, number one. Okay. Number two, okay. you do a load test. You do a load test at JMeter or Load Runner. If there's a memory problem. If there is a, mm -hmm. a response time product, you take heap dump, you take GC logs, you take thread dump, okay, and analyze it. It doesn't matter if you're going to run a load with JMeter or load runner, but our case, I will also use JMeter wherever I need to uh, uh, create some problem, right? Uh, to put some kind yeah, of load. That is JMeter. Okay, so you'll be using JMeter to show us the means of how we can check the heap dump or something like that. Okay. Correct. That was correct. Me. Say, I, for me to create some problem, I will run very small load, right? Uh, because I don't have a big app server, right? So it's all in my laptop on my mm -hmm. laptop. I'll use okay. image scripts. Say, for example, I'll just, uh, I have already a thing. Will you be passing only the WAR file or any, uh, means, uh, uh, homegrown website? So where will be listening? Only on the WAR file that you have developed or something extra? See. Uh, okay, this is the JMeter uh, few scripts which is all, all, all also be uploaded to the drive. Okay, which you can also reuse it. This is uh, scripted for the this uh, e library application. Okay. Uh, second question is, uh, see this. Um, okay, let me show you that this home login view librarian whatever we have it in this uh, application is what I'm having in this. Okay. Second is from a um, uh, what file? Okay. See this. This code, whatever I'm showing it here, this is the e library mm -hmm. application, and this code is what where from where I have uh, uh, got the war file. Okay, um, so this application is something you can also deploy it in your mission, and you can use it for your testing. Okay, 
Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so from from a from a yeah engineering perspective, what we need we need a sample application. We need a code yeah. so that we can go and create some problem, some response time problem, some memory problem, and also when in, in the tools right in the in the give them or in the uh, JPROF profile, it will show you some problem. Now, if you have a code, you can also come back and look into that particular class or particular method so that it will be easy for you to relate and understand. So, uh, from yeah. from a software perspective, you should you should also have in your mission. Uh, the uh, the Tomcat and Eclipse, so that it will be easy for you to uh, learn uh, uh, little easily, effectively. Actually, I do not have any experience in JMeter. That's the reason why I'm asking. Uh, it might be a little no, bit. Uh, uh, Peter, sir, uh, I have also a question. Like you are showing on the Eclipse, so do we uh, uh, in this? Uh, I mean, content. I mean, this uh, program. So we will be also doing this kind of Eclipse programming as such. Because I can see that uh, we are also making any var file or we are dumping any var file yeah. in Eclipse and we are working on that. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, correct. So initially, I, we will have one session on Java Basics, right? I'll go and probably tell you how to create classes, how to create multiple classes, how to build a jar file, how to build a var file, how to deploy it in the Tomcat. That we will have it probably tomorrow or day after. We will definitely have that initial session so that you can can also you can get that. Comfortness as well. So we will have a session on uh, how to create these uh, classes uh, and then compile it and then uh, deploy it. That we will definitely have it. That's good. Uh, one last thing, Satish, means after the completion of this no course, problem. will there be any support for uh, uh, this one uh, certification? Uh, see, there will be certificate given by Isha itself once you complete a course. No, I'm speaking uh, about uh, load run certification. Uh, see, this again um, from a load runner certification, it's a tool. Right? Load, load runner is a tool where you'll do scripting, you'll do execution, where you'll do analysis, right? So that is a testing aspect. Uh, if you want load runner specific certifications, support to that, it is also uh, available in Asia for, for with a load runner course. This is a performance engineering course. So uh, uh, you will get an engineering certificate from Asia as OC completed. But if you want to go and take load on the certification, uh, it is totally a different uh, case altogether. But yes, there is a separate uh, load runner course is also available for you if you wanted to interested only in load runner. Uh, I wanted to actually the combo means performance engineering as well as the tool. Uh, will that be possible or? or uh... Yeah, yeah, two different uh, topics okay. altogether. Um, so okay. that has to be a separate uh, uh, course only. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Satish, one question, uh, <clears throat> Mary here. So uh, whatever that you are going to cover is based on uh, UI uh, specific application or like API based. Okay, good. So, um, say from uh, let me go to the course content again. Um, when it comes to microservices or APIs, right, that is one. In an architecture, you will have uh, um, a, a browser uh, um, or or a UI, uh, uh, and then in the backend, you can also have services. Or few of your application can only have the APIs or microservices. Okay. When it comes to engineering, okay, um, be it as API or be it as uh, your UI, let me go one by one. You will have a response time problem with your APIs, right? Your microservices are API, when you put it in the postman, you can still have a response time of one second or 800 milliseconds, two seconds, which you need to debug it. So response time analysis is not going to be different uh, for API or microservices or UI. Uh, your API is still going to consume memory. It's still going to run on threads, so it will still have a memory problem uh, or a thread problem. So your memory leak analysis, heap dumps, GC, thread, thread dump analysis is going to be pretty much applicable for both UI as well as for your services or for your microservices. The client side analysis will not be required. Uh, being it is not an uh, UI, you will not do uh, any client side profiling for that. App dynamics, yes, it is of course required. You should know app dynamics even to monitor your APIs. So DB, if your API is going to get connected to the DB, you should also know uh, analyzing your database uh, uh, AWS analysis. So I would say APIs, microservices, 80% of these things are going to be common for both UI and API uh, both. 
so uh, which means the concepts whatever you're going to learn can be applied to the microservices as well okay. uh, but what we are going to uh, use in our session is going to be an uh, ui based application uh, will you be able to include a few scenarios related to api as well for our hands on i will try to do it i i cannot guarantee you that but uh, i will try to do that probably i'll try to set up some of these uh, uh, apis uh, um, and and host it in the tomcat uh, right and then try to uh, invoke that in postman and then do a similar kind of response time analysis or uh, uh, leak analysis i'll try to do that uh, it is it should be possible uh, but uh, uh, I'm not not hundred percent sure whether I'll be able to do it within the three weeks to four weeks time. In case if I if I couldn't able to do it in three three to four weeks time, definitely uh, follow up right probably in the, after one week or two week. Whenever I'm, I can get that done, I will have a session for that. Uh, but I'll try to do that. But I will not be able to guarantee you that hundred percent age. But but that's a good good uh, point. I'll try to do it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, guys. Super. Okay. So, uh, whatever questions you have with respect to the um, the fee structure or uh, registration, you can reach out to uh, Kumar sir, and uh, the course schedule is going to be between Monday to Friday and between 10 p.m. and 3. If you have any questions on the topics, if you think that if you want to know whether it is relevant for you or not, is the course course meant for you or not, if you have any questions, you can ping me in the WhatsApp uh, in the group or to me separately. We can also uh, have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. Whenever you wanted to do it tomorrow, uh, uh, so that you can go and register it. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much, guys. As I said, if you have any more questions, you can definitely uh, put it in the WhatsApp group or to be in the uh, WhatsApp, and I'll be able to answer you. Okay. So we'll meet again tomorrow. Um, yeah. Thanks for your uh, time, guys. Yeah. Thanks thank so. you. Bye.